Hi, I'm Trent Edwards, and in addition to cancer, inflammation plays a big role in neurological disorders. For example, in depression, interleukin-6, TNF, and C-reactive protein were all present in patients with depression, and anti-TNF treatments have been shown to improve the mood of depressed patients. In one study done, uh, inflammation was measured in the brain for patients with major depressive disorder, and there are found to be higher levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines in the prefrontal cortex, the anterior cingulate cortex, and the insula regions of the brain, which were all the regions that were studied. Uh, there is no proof that this is causative, but it is believed to be causative. In addition to depression, inflammation has been found to be elevated in patients with autism and to be a risk factor for patients with schizophrenia. Uh, in addition, Patients with Alzheimer's disease have been found to have elevated levels of interleukin-1, interleukin-6, and TNF, and chronic inflammation has been present in Alzheimer's disease patients. In one study done, uh, inflammation was studied to see if it preceded amyloid plaque deposition, which is one of the telltale signs of Alzheimer's disease, and it was found to precede the amyloid plaque deposition, which would suggest a causatory effect. Finally. Uh, metabolic syndrome combined with inflammation has been shown to cause a greater four-year cognitive decline than those without, and patients with just chronic inflammation have been shown to have impaired long-term potentiation, which is involved with long-term... Hi, Erica. Um, other diseases that are affected by inflammation include heart disease, diabetes, and arthritis. In heart disease, elevated C-reactive protein increases your risk for obtaining heart disease. And TNF, IL-6, and C-reactive protein are all elevated in heart disease patients. In diabetes, IL-1, IL-8, and TNF assist progression. And elevated IL-6 and C-reactive protein indi indicate type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetic patients often have high vascular inflammation. In arthritis, TNF and IL-6 are elevated in the synovial fluid of joints, and TNF inhibitors slow the progression of arthritis.